drugs and rock and roll Is all my brain and body need Sex and drugs and rock and roll KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. The Saturday night fiasco every Saturday, 9 until midnight. Coming up later in the show. Oh, there's some something. I forgot what it is, though. What a crazy night. No, it was, um, I know what it is. A guy, never mind. I'll tell you later. Right now, though, live in the studio, joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Let me think before I, before I make this claim. Yeah, I'm going to say it. The best band that doesn't have an album out yet. <laughs> God, I hope I didn't just piss off somebody else, too. No, I think, though, every other band I can think of that I really like has something. Maybe it's just an EP, but they have something that you could buy. But the best band that right now you can't buy any of their stuff, but hopefully that'll be rectified soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please... Put your gums together. It's the Masticators, everybody. <laughs> now, Robbie, Severo, Lisa, I'm not talking to you for right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time that we spent, we spent a few minutes chatting with the unsung Masticator, the fourth Masticator, the Masticator who, who for some reason doesn't get the credit that he deserves. Maybe it's because he's only in one or two bands instead of the six or seven that everybody else here is in. Or maybe it's because he's so quiet and unassuming. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick McGrath. Yay! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you very much. What's it like being surrounded by all of these fevered egos? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> I do my best to deal with them, I guess. Do you ever feel at a gig that, you know, you guys play, you're done, everybody goes, woo -hoo! everybody comes over, Robbie, woo, Severa, woo, Lisa, woo, and then you're sort of like... I'll put the amps away now. <laughs> well, uh, I'm usually just so uh, involved in what we're doing anyway. I don't even think about it. You know, we just get up and play. And you're and a good sport, uh, aren't you? Well, I I just love to play. So, you know, I'm there for that. And you know, let these guys deal with all the networking and all that kind of stuff. I keep but trying. It doesn't to, work for me. I keep trying to have some band come on the show and break up live on the air. All right, that's <laughs> it. I quit. I'm done. I never liked you. I never liked you either. And one of you needs to bring your annoying Japanese girlfriend in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, Pat, it's no, wonderful not, to have you here. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Thank and, you. And the other band you play in is called Wonder Boy? Uh, yes. And is there any other bands that you play in? Uh, no. Not Only no, two. that's not true. Remarkably restrained. You have... Well, I do. Say it. I actually do a, a cover band, which you know, which is called. Anybody listening to the show is gonna like fall over dead now. But we we do. Uh, say uh, it. We do a Rush tribute. You're in a Rush tribute band. And I play bass and no, you're keyboards. Not. No, yeah. no, you're not. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. And no, they don't. And no, there isn't. <laughs> what is it called? Well, it, we're still putting it together, but there, it's called Bitor and the Snow Dogs. And, and I assume if I was a huge, huge Rush <laughs> yeah, fan, I would know immediately. Yeah, of course. Get out of town. And how does the idea to have a, a Rush tribute band come about? Well, other than the obvious drinking and... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's just one of those things I've, you know, I've, we just started dabbling with some friends that I have just jamming. And we ended up jamming a lot of Rush songs because that's what we all knew for cover material. Mm -hmm. And, um, Did you go to high school in the Valley? No, I went to <laughs> high school in upstate New York. Same thing. <laughs> so so it, when you say Rush Tribute Band, there's three of you? Yeah, there's three of and us. And you're the Getty Lee? Uh, essentially, yeah. I'm, get I'm out trying of to town. get there. Can you give but, us a little Getty Lee? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Why not? Oh, come, um, on. come on. Come on. I, I don't think... Uh, Patrick, I'm, Patrick. I'm, Patrick. I'm, Patrick. Getty, I'm, Getty, 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 Getty. Can I borrow your guitar? Yeah. See, we don't we don't do the real old high, oh, really super high pitch stuff. We're, you you know. don't. No, we do like moving pictures That's and like, that kind of you know, stuff. Hold on to your strap. I'm sorry, <clears throat> so if you could just ah. come on a little. This is the only thing I know, and it's probably not accurate, technically accurate. For okay. You, but I think it'll. You know. I knew you were gonna do that. See, I, 
There's no way. I. That's. That's when Getty was like inhaling a lot of helium and. You know, like, <laughs> this so. is like a Beatles tribute band that, that says, "No, we don't do any Sergeant Pepper." Yeah, fly me. my night. Oh. No, no, because Rush's Sergeant Pepper's is moving pictures, and that's is what we do. This is getting too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I just that's the most that's I, the most fascinating thing I've ever heard in my life. A Rush tribute band. Well, well and when are we going to have the first uh, debut of this? Oh, I don't know. And, Maybe a couple of months. Maybe at the end Are of you, summer. Is this something? Just no, it's, you and it's me. a pet Is this something project. you're doing because you have to? <laughs> no, no. Is this like an no, extortion? No, no. I, I, I like <laughs> all different... Somebody's got your baby locked up no. in a closet. You will play in a Rush band. No, I like all different types of music. Uh -huh. And Rush is a band that I grew up with. And, and will you do the thing where, like, first you come out and it's the early Rush, and then you go and you do a costume change and you come no. out no, and it's no, the later Rush. And Actually, no, yeah, Pat, no costume changes or anything like Pat's that. Pat's been known to wear kimonos. No. It's see, on stage. But what a lot of people don't know is Rush has a really good sense of humor, and I, I plan to come out with, like, a fake nose and glasses right? and stuff. Right? <laughs> oh, man. But no one knows this. That it's, is, it's just for fun. Even if we never play a gig, we just get together and play and, you know. That's the coolest thing I've heard ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. So, all right, but when you get it together, we want you here on the show. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, come on, a Rush tribute band? There's been a few out there. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, because, there's, there's because a... if there had been already, there would have then already have been a law. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, well. So what's the set list going to be like? Uh, I know this really should it's be It's only about, about four songs, and it lasts an hour and a half. Talk about throwing me... <laughs> 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 All right, um, uh, let's get some traffic. Then when we come back, maybe we'll meet the drummer for the Masticators, Roberto Ritovsky, uh -huh. and talk about your journeys from the former Soviet Union yes, yes. And, and how you've come to embrace American yeah. rock and roll. And then maybe, I love America. America, maybe, America, okay. Yeah, John and, Wayne, Mickey Mouse. And then maybe we'll talk to the, the sort of the face of the masticators, the very lovely Lisa Michaels. And I need to talk to you about a phenomenon uh, that happens. I don't want to say anything more. There's something about you and then when the band is playing and when people come see you in the band that's very disturbing to me. And I'll share that with you. And then, uh, Severo, you know, you're here. It's too. just Severo. Yeah. This is KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio, more with the Masticators, and they'll actually play music to legitimize the fact that they are a band, not just three funny guys and a funny gal. You're okay with all that Rush stuff, right? I mean, you're not mad now? No, absolutely not. Okay. Believe me, I've learned <laughs> we're, we're to deal with I just can't get. I just can't get past it, that's all. I just, <laughs> that's it. So then after that, will you have like a Jethro Tull? No, absolutely not. But, why not? I'm thinking of a Poison tribute band. I'm thinking, you know, you know what? Talk maybe dirty to me. A tribute maybe, to Poison. Maybe callers would like to call in and suggest what band should have a tribute band oh, for them. Sure, That's sure. Brilliant. Yeah. Because every I know everybody in this room is consummate musician. You guys can play anything, and you can learn it in like three seconds. You could probably have this tribute <laughs> yeah. band together. But, but do in, you think I got a tribute do you think band it would too? Work if I was in a Kiss band. His tribute band? I think you've got Ace Freely down. Okay, but I Lisa have the Paul Stanley guitar, so it would be... Confusing. We can figure something out, yeah. man. Okay. All right, this is KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. KFI, the talk station with that. This is Jake Jarena in the KFI traffic Center. Or something like that. How do they look in big...